Greetings, sewing machine fans! It's TR for Stagecoach Road Sewing. I have a really nice machine to show you right now. <clears throat> this is a Singer Fashion Mate Model 223 from about 1963-1964. This is one of the <laughs> physically heaviest sewing machines. Uh, you can move it around, but I would not consider this a take-it-to-class portable. I think this beauty would be best mounted in a cabinet, and boy can it so. Not only is it heavy, it's heavy duty. I was playing with it before the demo here. I can't wait to show you how it does on this belting. So let's start by threading it up. This is a, a class 15 bobbin. goes in a bobbin case underneath there. Class 15 bobbins. The older ones are solid metal. One hole in the side like that. The newer ones have, I think that's 15 holes, I can't remember. Anyway, and they also come in clear plastic, but class 15 bobbins, given in any fabric or sewing store. And uh, let's just use that one. <coughs> Bobbin goes on here, clicks on, and let's turn our center knob back to declutch the motor. Oops, push that guy down, take our top thread to here. And under this nice fat tension disc and pick one of those holes hold your thread and give it a go I'm going to wind the whole bobbin just enough to do this demo for my scissors Hold on just a second <coughs> this stars here there we go and take your bobbin thread off. Pull that thing up. Now we gotta put, oops, some new scissors. Bobbin in the bobbin case. Goes like bobbin threads coming off over the top there like that. And you stick it in. Back through the notch. Click. Okay. Raise that. And stick it down in there on this little spindle. Click. Leave that thread hanging loose. <coughs> when you're doing that, make sure you're. Oh, let's tighten that back up. That your uh, take up lever is at the highest point. Now let's thread the top. Just keep right going here. And keep the tension disc and the check spring. And the take up lever, thread guide there, thread guide there, thread guide there, and the needle threads front to back on this machine. You'll also notice down here this machine is a low shank attachment, about the most common kind, easy to find attachments. You know, if you want to buy rufflers, or even feed foot, scrolling things, you look in your uh, Attachment catalog, what do you want to get? Low shank, center needle. This little, uh, there's an arrow on the throat plate engraved right here. That reminds you to thread front to back and put your needle with this flat side in the back. You've also got uh, eighth inch markings over here. Um, three eighths, four, five, six, three to eight. So one inch seam guide etched right on. And uh, as you can see, this is very shiny. Your light's back here. You want to turn that on or off. Okay, let's raise the bobbin thread. Let's hold the top thread and turn. always turn the hand wheel towards you on Singer machines. Any Singer machine. Okay, and pull that up. Now you're ready to sew. This machine is really basic. It's got straight, forward, reverse. It's got zigzag, and it's got a blind stitch. And that's like 90% of your basic sewing right there. Let's start off with just a piece of lightweight cotton shirting stuff. I'm going to set our stitch length at about 10. And just a one foot control. And away we go. Just like that. Now, this machine doesn't go really fast, it's top speed. Will go really slow. So for high torque, heavy duty sewing, what a beauty. Okay, let's go to zigzag. Here's your width. 
zero to five. Take it all the way up to five. Oop, got the blind hammer on. Turn the save thing. Okay, there's your zigzag. Right there. Nice big wide zigzag. Perfectly balanced tension front and back. Now if you want to turn the blind stitch on, if you know what a blind stitch is, that's four straights and a zigzag. You just flip that lever right there. Four straight. And there you've got that. Really easy. Let's turn that off. Let's uh, drop the feed. Like that. Loosen the pressure up here with this thumb screw. And now we can move the fabric. You probably want to get a darning foot if you're interested in free motion quilting or darning. I'm going to do that. But I just want to show you how easy it is to raise and lower that feed. Let's raise it up again. Now let me show you something what the 237 is really good at, which is heavy duty sewing. Here's a piece of denim. Now for heavy duty sewing, remember, you want to have a long stitch. Now I think I've got a size 16 needle in there, a pretty heavy needle. Standard needle. Here's an old jeans leg that's been folded over a bunch of times and has the big seams in it and stuff. Use this to demo a lot of the more heavy duty machines that we get here. Oh, we're still on zigzag and look at that, getting it right up. It's even cooler. Wow. Wow. Look, let's put it back on straight here. You've got a piece of medium weight belting here. This is not uh, suede or garment leather. This is kind of burly stuff. A power assist to get going there. So, I was going to say the 237 is a heavy, simple, heavy duty machine. It's very interesting in the Singer lineup. The, the head of the machine, the main body here, made in Japan. Singer had a very high quality Japanese factory. And then if you go over here and read on the motor bracket, the motor was made in Canada. They also had a factory up there. So you've got a truly international machine here, ladies and gentlemen. The U.S. designed Singer Fashion Mate, made in Japan, the Canadian motor. Yeah. You want a machine for, for basic household sewing, occasional heavy duty stuff. I'm saying you're not going to be sewing bridal leather on this. But medium weight belting, denim, and of course just your average shirting fabric. Really nice, well balanced stitch there. The Fashion Mate 223 can be yours. Contact us and we'll let you know how. Thanks for watching.